We're planning a cross-country flight from Lakeland Airport up to Crystal River Airport, and we're trying to select a good route. Now, when selecting a good route, there are two things to worry about. One is uh, airspace or other things that you might not want to fly over or near, and the other is locating good visual checkpoints, things you'll be able to see from the air to know that you're on course and that you're tracking appropriate time-wise on your flight plan. So a few things to watch out for on our route. If we would go direct straight up here to Crystal River, you'd see we'd clip the corner of the Class Bravo right here and would fly directly over Zephyr Hills Airport. Now the Class Bravo only goes down to 6,000 feet, so that's really not a problem. We're probably not going to be flying that high, but flying directly over Zephyr Hills Airport might be a problem because they have a lot of parachute jumping there and we might get in the way. So the route that I'm going to pick is I'd like to travel north a little bit from Lakeland and then hang my left and go up to Crystal River. So what are some good visual checkpoints that we could use along the way? Well, highways make good visual checkpoints. They're very easy to see from the air. For example, I-4 here. Airports make good visual checkpoints. Even if you're not flying directly over the airport, the airport could be to your left or to your right, and that could count as your checkpoint. Private airports work as checkpoints, except they're typically a little bit smaller and sometimes hard to see, especially so with grass strips. They tend to blend in with the landscape very easily. So to start with my route, you need to draw a line. So I'm going to take my plotter, line it up with the way that I want to go to the point where I want to make my first turn, and I'm going to draw a line. Then at my turn, I'll line up my plotter again with the next segment of my course, and I'll draw another line. I like to highlight my lines in yellow because they blend in pretty easily with the chart if you don't. My first checkpoint, I'm going to use Zephyr Hills Airport on my left. So I'm going to make a little hash mark here. So I'm going to know that when I am straight north of Lakeland Airport and I look off to my left, straight off my left wing, and I see Zephyr Hills Airport, that will be my first checkpoint. Then I'm going to make a turn. I'm going to travel up here. Now I'm going to look for a point maybe about halfway between these two, and I'm going to pick right here, right off the side of Brooksville Airport. So when Brooksville Airport then is directly off to my left and I'm on my intended heading, then that will be my second checkpoint. Your first checkpoint needs to be fairly close to the departure airport, and that's because you need to be able to know if you're on course fairly quickly. You might depart from a different runway and be going an odd direction and take you a minute to get established on course. So you want to have something that's close enough that you will be able to see it promptly after departing.